free on it. What is the deal? This is Folk Shaka, the urban philosopher. I wanted to share my thoughts with you all very quickly. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've seen this uh, show uh, that was posted by Anthony O'Neill. <clears throat> and he had Chrisette Michelle on there. And they were talking about the so-called black community getting therapy. And that is why I'm making this video today. You know, black people, the so-called black community is always being encouraged uh, from the top, okay? The agenda pushers, because this didn't come from the bottom, the grassroots. But we're always looking up in these celebrities and things like that. You know, they're trying to tell us to get therapy. And so I want to speak on <clears throat> some of the reasons why and just why it's not you know the best idea for most people okay today that's why i'm making a video so he had chris said michelle on here and what the number the number one thing that i think is comedy would they be trying to have these mentally unstable celebrities because they are mentally unstable all right and as long as they are still in that game which she is okay she was canceled but you know she was talking about this on his show as well you know, she got her act right. She got back in pocket, pretty much. You know, she tried to make it sound deep and poetic, but she got back in pocket. But just being in that lifestyle alone is toxic. You know, you're not mentally stable being a part of the entertainment industry. And she has worked with, you know, people like Rick Ross. She's worked up there. So she, she's a part of that side. And I told y'all that this was gonna happen you know what i'm saying they were gonna start getting a lot of these celebrities that are not really much of anything they they probably had a a hit here and there they were gonna start getting them uh on these social media platforms to regulate and also so that these record companies can recoup some of their money okay this is a good way for them to uh get some of the money that they invested in these artists that probably didn't do as much or whatever whatever so it's a couple of reasons but one of the big reasons is to get them to come in regulate and continue to push these same old agendas they trying to push okay <clears throat> but he had her on and they were talking about therapy and the first thing one of the things he said on there was that he think that he thinks that all black so-called black men to get therapy i mean he didn't really give a legitimate reason why you know what i'm saying but this is just what he said and i'm not a fan of us walking into these offices y'all to receive therapy okay i'm just not first off because these other uh businesses that are so-called health they no different than medical and when you look at the medical industry, it is for profit, okay? It's for profit, and that's just real. And it's no different than the behavioral health industry. It is for profit. You know, when I used to work, y'all, I, um, I worked at this one place. It was like a, a behavioral health place or whatever. And um, you learn real quick that they it's all about making money for real. You know what I'm saying? When you walk in that door and they see you and you say that you have a problem, they're more concerned about how long are they going to be able to ride it out because that's how they make their living. If they were actually helping people, okay, to the point to where you didn't have to come back next week to be monitored, all right, it wouldn't be an industry for real. So that's number one, you know. And with that said, what number one said, you know, number two is in the age of information, okay, you got to ask yourself what advantage are you going to get by going in to see a specialist for behavioral health and things like that. Now, the girl, Chrisette Michelle, said some silly, low end thing, try to make it seem like it was all deep because of her. <laughs> the cringe voice that she be using but she tried to uh, 
come in and say, well, you know, you got to trust that these people went to school and they know this. Okay, something a celebrity would say. Okay. But the truth of the matter is, I mean, even when you look at uh, how they're handing degrees out like candy and what they're teaching in these schools today, that ain't legit enough. Okay. It definitely ain't legit enough to be just walking in here trusting these people. Okay, so these people are most likely not even going to be able to help you, nor do they have a vested interest, unless, okay, unless it's a situation where, how it's supposed to be, within that community, they have those things. That's why some of the best service that you're going to receive is these uh, community doctors and specialists. The place where you got the office right in their community. They are a part of that community. They know the people of that community. It's that situation. When you come in, they know that you're somebody that stays down the block, across the street, or whatever. It's those situations. Okay? That's the only time you're probably going to get some real service. You know? And one of the biggest reasons why is because it's going to be a community thing. Which is my next thing. And the reason why they are really pushing this really today anyway. What they want to do is they want to get us away from a lot of the wisdom and, and, and some of the uh, elders and things like that that may exist in our community that know how to provide the leadership and the direction on how we should go about things. Because I'm going to tell y'all something, y'all. I never met a person in life who got therapy and it was the therapist that fixed them. It always ended up eventually being in time, life. That person living, learning, gaining that experience. Okay? And this is what they want to get us from, in my opinion. When they're always pushing and uh, pressing for us to go see a therapist. All right? A therapist that's not from our community, not from our co most of the time, because we don't dominate in those areas either. Okay, not from our community. Okay, not from our background and anything like that. And they try to justify that on that show, and it just—it's it, no offense, but it just was a nothing burger. They were trying to make it seem like, oh, that's not a big deal. You should just be worried about going in there, putting everything out there on the table. And that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's who has been in your shoes or who has walked in the same path that you walked along is going to most definitely be able to help you more than somebody that just went to school uh, and got a degree, probably learned a bunch of stereotypical stuff about the group that they're seeing, and they're going to help you out. All right? It just doesn't make sense. Okay? And so, at the end of the day, that's why I'm not a fan of the whole therapy thing. You know, when you look at it, it's just not really, it's not something that we can look to and say, this is going to help us fix our problems. The problems that we are dealing with collectively as a community that's keeping us from getting up and being a competitive group of people, okay? It's not. <clears throat> now, if you have your own little community, and you actually have somebody within that community that you have groomed. Maybe y'all are assisting this person with getting through school and learning about these things so that they can come back and be a, um, a factor in trying to fix behavioral health problems and things like that. You're getting somewhere with that, okay? You're getting somewhere with that. And that's the direction that we need to go to. We need to stop being told that we need to outsource to figure out what's going on and, and um, receiving the tools to fix our problems when they have always been within anyway. Because just alone, um, you could get on YouTube damn near and you can get damn near all the stuff that some random person that don't even know you or care about you is going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You can get that on YouTube. In fact, you can get better and you can get it for cheaper. Even if you did the Patreon. Patreon, what, $5 a month, something? Some of them brothers over there doing uh, quality content? 
Meanwhile, this therapist wants you to get them $50 every time you walk to the door every week and stuff like that. Only to not really help you with your problems. And statistically, that has been proven, okay? Therapists are not fixing problems out here today, all right? Divorce rate is still 70%, all right? And uh, mental health and suicide rates are still up. And one of the main reasons for that is because people are no longer looking towards the community. They're looking towards all these outsourced things. Oftentimes controlled by the exact people, okay? Who is trying to push these agendas, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, man. Y'all can go ahead and drop y'all comments on what y'all think below. <clears throat> did y'all look at the show? What did y'all think about the show and his talking points? I'll drop the link, him and Michelle's talking points. I'll drop the link there below. But go ahead and like and dislike this information, y'all. But most definitely hit that sub button and that bell. So I'm gonna drop something that you're gonna like, all right? Anyway, y'all, this is your folks, Shock of the Urban Philosopher.